Top 5 People with Superpowers Number 5. Pastor Kibaloy. Apollo Carrion Kibaloy is the founder and leader of the Philippines-based restorationist cult called the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name above every name, Inc. He has made claims that he is the appointed Son of God, as well as being the owner of the universe. Pastor Kibaloy is also known as a Filipino demigod. He claims that he stopped an earthquake by saying the word, stop, and the earthquake immediately stopped due to his powerful superpowers. Researchers and scientists also said that if Kibaloy will continue and practice his superpowers he will become a member of the Avengers and can immediately destroy Thanos by saying a single word. But I won't be surprised if he won't kill Cardo Dalisai the immortal and the real definition of God's strength. Therefore Pastor Kibaloy got the number 5 spot and also got my respect for saving the universe. Number 4. Unknown Korean Guy Unknown Korean Guy also known as Korea Nong Amao got the fourth spot. He can speak fluent Korean language without proper learning and without using Google Translate. He is so powerful that he can attract every girl with his Korean language. Okay, Did you hear that? That's his powerful and sweet voice that can immediately seduce every girl. Well just wait till you hear his laugh. <laughs> ah that's so sweet. I think I'm in love, no homo. He got my respect because everyone is confused and mind blown by his Korean accent. And therefore we must hide our sisters so that they won't be attracted to this guy. Listen how he pronounced Kandang. Kandang. <laughs> Number 3. Willy Revilla May. On February 4, 2006, while Willy was hosting Wow Wowie, he was caught giving a red jacket to a girl crying. Also, he is so rich that if you cry in front of him, he will give you a will phone. And that's why I'm so amazed by this guy. He was rumored to be a multi billionaire in the Philippines and can actually buy the whole universe without really making a dent on his bank account. If you're broke just sign up in Wow Wow Wee and cry in front of him. He will immediately give you the most advanced mobile phone called Wool Phone and his backup phone called Cherry Mobile and also he will give some extra cash just tell him that he is your favorite artist and singer. Wait till he shouts P-A-Y-B-T-A-W-S-A-N or 5000. And if he's triggered or mad he loves to say you don't do that to me. He got the third spot because he is so rich and so powerful. No one can give you 5,000 in a mobile phone if you cry except Koya will. Number 2. Ed Kalawag. Ed Kalawag is a Filipino psychic that can call bad spirits and tell them to stop haunting the victim. Ed Kalawag and Jessica Soho is the best Filipino love team so far, probably better than Lizkin. But let's focus on Ed Kalawag's background. He got the swag of a young Filipino gangster. He is so powerful that he uses two metal sticks and make them like his antenna to communicate to the other dimension. Ed Kalawag is so powerful that he uses a bowl to knock all of the ghosts surrounding them. He even predicted that the ground is wet. Ed Kalawag is not just one normal person. His powers can include ghosts and hauntings, psychic phenomena, and even mysterious creatures, such as Sasquatch. And becoming an expert, if that's what we want to call a very knowledgeable person, requires not only a good understanding of the theories of the phenomena themselves, but also at least a rudimentary understanding of psychology, sociology, physics, and other sciences. And Ed Kalawag mastered all of them, that's why he got the second spot for me. And finally, the number one, and the most powerful of them all. Ricardo Dallasse. Ricardo Dallasse seems so invincible despite the countless enemies who want to take him down. 
He had the most powerful weapon called the cross-shaped amulet-like object that could give extraordinary power to the owner such as necromancy, kill numerous lives, extends life, telekinesis, and other superpowers. This dangerous weapon of Cardo Dallas A can easily kill all of us even the one that I've mentioned earlier. He is the true definition of God's strength. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. He is the twin brother of no longer living Ador Borja de Leon. The twins used to live together in their young days, but due to financial reasons, they were separated from each other. The difference between them is that Cardo is a brave SAF trooper whereas Ador is a noble policeman. Cardo is a well-spirited individual who attempts to protect society from law-breaking corruption from various types of criminals, such as drug addicts, human trafficking syndicates, gamblers, dog butchers, and more. He tends to punish villainous criminals by brute force but usually refuses to kill them, only if the rule breakers stop fighting and surrender. And until now no one can kill Ricardo Dallas I even saw Atama is shaking.